Welcome to all of you. I would like to thank everyone who has joined us this evening to celebrate the graduation of West Leiden High School's Class of 2023. Before we get started, we would like to ask that at this time you please silence your cell phones. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask you to please rise and join the Leiden High School Band under the direction of Mr. Brian Miller, Mr. Michael Vasher, and Ms. Stacy Cunningham in the singing of our national anthem. Students, please turn and face the flag. <laughs> Thank you for that amazing performance. You may now take your seats. Hello and good evening. My name is Arturo Centeno and I'm honored to be in my first year as principal at West Leiden. Tonight we are fortunate to be able to celebrate in great style and comfort here at the beautiful Rosemont Theater. Thanks to the generosity of Mayor Bradley Stevens and the village of Rosemont, we're able to enjoy all a graduation in a perfect setting that can be enjoyed and remembered by all. Please help me to show our gratitude. I would like to thank Rosemont Theater's Executive Director, Pat Nagel, Director of Operations, Ed Balo, and the skilled craftsmen who work behind the scenes. Their, trouble touch, their special touches added so much to the ceremony, and we appreciate all that they do. Please help me in thanking them. Before I begin, I want to start by recognizing two important people not here with us today. Their memory, spirit, and names are all reminders of how truly precious life really is. At this time, let us have a moment of silence for our two beloved West Leiden Eagles, Daniel Moshi and Ada Malave. Thank you for that. As a tradition here in Leiden, I'd like to start off by acknowledging our faculty retiree. This year we celebrate a member of the West Leiden Science Department. Dr. Ruflo, would you please stand? <laughs> Dr. Joe Ruflo has quite an amazing story. He worked at Leiden for 33 years where he taught science to a plethora of Leiden students. He was the student council sponsor for 29 years, activity director for 17 years, and athletic coach for 19 years. Every single year he worked at Leiden, he helped to organize and run the foreign exchange program with students from Italy. His passions extend well beyond the classroom, including playing a mean guitar, participating in a few soccer leagues, and working on his carpentry skill in his home shop. When asked what would he miss most about Leiden, he responded instantly with, my colleagues and my students. Surprisingly enough, when he, asked, when he was asked what would he not miss about Leiden after 33 years, 
he emphatically responded, the first day of school year and getting up every morning at 4.45. Joe, thank you for your years of service and for being a friend, colleague, and mentor to so many students. Congratulations. And now I would like to make a few remarks to the graduating class of 2023 titled The Power of Listening. What an amazing day today. As we gather here tonight to celebrate, I'm filled with pride and admiration for this incredible community. The hard work, dedication, and unwavering support of our families, teachers, and staff helped mold these young people into the kind, respectful, and future-focused individuals they are today. To the students, I am proud of all you've accomplished at this school. You have worked tirelessly to achieve academic excellence and have been actively involved in extracurricular activities, sports, and community service projects. You have shown a deep commitment to improving the world, and I have no doubt that you will continue to do so in the years ahead. As you prepare to embark on the next phase of your journey, whether it be at college, trade school, military, or entering the workforce, remember that you are a part of a strong and supportive community. You have a network of people who believe in you and are ready to help you succeed. Keep the values of kindness, respect, and hard work at the forefront of everything you do, and always remember the lessons you have learned here at West Leiden. One way to continue this path of excellence is through the power of listening. In a time of constant information overload, be in, please be intentional about listening to others. Whether it's a conversation with a loved one, like a school side interview, or simply embracing the moments of dialogue at a dinner table, when humans interact with each other, we share something special and the bond of humanity appears. I can remember a few of these moments in my lifetime, listening to my fifth grade basketball coach after a tough loss, listening to my mother talk about her experiences in high school, listening to my army platoon members after our first firefight in Fallujah, and even listening to the breath of my firstborn in the hospital on her birthday. These memories will always stay with me because I was listening and nothing else mattered at the time. No emails, no Snapchat notifications, no ding on my cell phone stole that moment from me and it was incredible. Not only does listening benefit you, but the power it brings to others is nothing short of amazing. Listening allows people to share a part of themselves with you. The expression on my grandmother's face is something I'll never forget as she shared her story of growing up in Topeka, Kansas and working at an airplane parts factory during World War II. Her voice changed with a certain joy that I noticed right away. She went to her bedroom and grabbed a shoebox of pictures and kept talking about her ama and her papa. Una historia is as, as important as the first one. I learned so much that day about who she was and her journey as a young Mexican girl who immigrated to the U.S. from Monterrey, Mexico. Her smile is from ear to ear, and I'll never forget that gift. The funny thing is that when I was in seventh grade, I had no idea that Kansas had Mexicans. Giving space for listening can indeed produce magic. My challenge to you is to start your journey of listening today after the ceremony, at the dinner table, and even at your graduation parties. Be a listener, and I promise amazing things will happen. A few weeks ago, I asked the senior class to tell me about your stories. I heard some pretty amazing things. Here's a few from the list. That COVID thing that happened during freshman year. That weird phenomenon of devious licks. <laughs> rocking out the Junior Olympics. Friendships developed over four years. Homecoming dance parties. No one turning on their camera during remote learning. The talent in various music shows. Shuttle bus stories from west to east. And even learning about oscillation in physics. Another shout out to the physics department. That day in the auditorium, a space was given for listening and I received the gift of memories of your senior class. I know I was not with you for all four years, but that gift I received in the auditorium will be with me forever. Thank you for that. And to many, high school sounded like a blast. 
Seniors, congratulations, each of you on this achievement. I'm honored to be part of your journey. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023, you have been listened to. Now, I'd like to welcome Dr. Poliak, our district superintendent, presenting his commencement speech, Your Name. Good evening. On behalf of the school board, administration, faculty, and staff at Leiden, I'd like to welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. It always feels good to be here at the end of the year in the beautiful Rosemont Theater. We're here tonight to celebrate each and every one of you graduates. As you move forward today, you'll take with you all the lessons your teachers, coaches, sponsors, and others have provided. And I'm not just talking about math and English and art. I'm talking about those life lessons everyone has provided. You'll move forward with your reputation and with your name. Now, when you grow up like me, with a name like Nick Poliak, no one has ever met someone with that same name. Everything I say and everything I do has impacted what people think of me, and that comes back to what people think of the Poliak name. The same is true and will continue to be true for each of you. So I'd like to start by telling you a brief story about another person who lived his life in the Midwest, not too far from here. His name was Bill Gaither. Bill and his wife, Gloria, were teachers in Indiana. They were looking for a piece of land where they could build a house and raise their family. They found a piece of land that belonged to a 92-year-old retired banker named Mr. Ewell. Mr. Ewell told everyone that land would only be used for cows to graze. Well, Bill and his wife met with Mr. Ewell to ask about buying the property, and he told them, not selling. I promised that land to the farmers so their cows can graze. Bill said, but you know, my wife and I were teachers, and we want to settle in the area and raise our family. Mr. Ewell said, what's your name again? When Bill answered, Mr. Ewell asked, are you related to a Grover Gaither? And Bill said, yeah, that's my grandfather. Mr. Ewell looked over the top of his glasses and said, Grover Gaither was the best worker I ever had working that land. Full day's work for a full day's pay, so honest. He told Bill to come back and see him later that week. When Bill returned, he sat down and held his breath. Mr. Ewell said he had had the property appraised. How does $3,800 sound to you? Bill thought, well, there's 15 acres. That would be almost $60,000. Mr. Ewell quickly corrected him. No, that's 3,800 for all 15 acres. Bill quickly accepted the offer and bought the property. Fast forward 30 years later, Bill and his son walked that land and he said to his son, you had this beautiful place to grow up through nothing you've ever done but because of the good name of a great-grandfather that you've never met. I want you to think about that story. As you graduate tonight, you're here because of what was done by so many people before you. What did your parents, your grandparents, or your guardians sacrifice for you? What have your teachers, your coaches, or other role models done to support you? And certainly your success was due to your hard work and effort over the past 18 years. But it doesn't end there. Tonight is only the beginning of the next chapter of your name. It is now my honor and pleasure to tell you about the names and stories of two amazing graduates of the class of 2023. I'd like to start with Andrew Martinez. I'm very pleased to introduce you to Andrew Martinez. Like many people in this room tonight, Andrew grew up in Northlake. He grew up around his parents, Oscar and Marlene, his older sister, Jennifer, and his older brothers, Oscar Jr. and Matthew. I asked Andrew, if you had a time machine, what would you go back and tell your younger self about high school? 
His message to himself, I think, resonates for all students. He said he would tell himself to enjoy it while it lasts, be calm, and work to get good grades. Those uh, importance of good grades, that was introduced to him in fourth grade when he attended Roy School and had Mr. Sarubi as a teacher. Andrew told me how Mr. Sarubi would not let kids fail, and he worked to instill the importance of school. Andrew went on to Mannheim Middle School, and over those years, he developed a passion for sports, especially soccer, which he played here at Leiden during his freshman year. A large part of Andrew's story revolves around his parents. Before he was born, his family lived in Guatemala. His father worked as a driver for the family business where they sold and delivered livestock. His parents dreamed of a better life in the United States with more work opportunities and brighter futures for their children. His mother made the move here in 1988 and his father joined her in 1995. They had heard that this was a great community to raise a family and that there were great schools. I may be a little biased on this topic, but I certainly agree with them. Andrew's father started working in a popcorn factory in the area to allow his mother to take care of the children. He eventually transitioned to using his truck driving skills by driving a waste management truck. And then his dad finally transitioned into working construction jobs to make even more money for the family. Andrew told me he recalls his dad coming home covered in cement dust with his hands blistered, worn, and black. As a young man, Andrew watched his father build that into his own business, and he looked forward to the day where he could attend college, earn a business degree, and help support his father's work. All those dreams and plans were shaken one day during Andrew's seventh grade year. He told me it was the longest day of his life. He recalls his parents dressing nicely early in the morning for meetings related to securing his father's citizenship status. He went off to school like normal and had soccer practice afterwards. His older brother, Oscar, picked him up that day. Now, normally when Oscar pulled up, you could hear his favorite music playing from a long distance away. On this day, there was noticeably no music. And when Andrew got in the car, he could tell that Oscar had been crying. Oscar told him they took Papa. He got sent back to Guatemala. Their father had been deported. For the next two years, Andrew's family was constantly saving up money to travel to Guatemala to visit his father. And throughout that time, his father did not give up. In 2019, Oscar Sr. worked through his paperwork issues and returned to his family here in North Lake. Andrew said he not only got right back to work, he also immediately noticed things that needed fixing around the house and started fixing them. I asked Andrew what it meant to have his dad back. And he said, it really means everything. He continued, that period of my life taught me that life is hard and it will knock you down, but you have to get back up. When Andrew came to Leiden, he found a home in our collab program, just like his brother had before him. He praised all of the teachers in that program and remembers presenting a project on the realities of deportation. His teachers knew his family story and when his parents came to parent-teacher conferences, Andrew fondly recalls how his teachers got up from their seats to hug his father. One of his collab teachers, Mr. Lang, told me Andrew would constantly visit after class just to say hello to his teachers and give them a fist bump. He knows how to make people feel wanted and special. Andrew also praised his advisory teacher, Ms. Perezic. After seeing her twice a week for the past two years, he said she always made him welcome. She always had ears to listen, kept him motivated, and provided help whenever he needed it. Ms. Perezic told me, Andrew is a student who is resilient and determined to work hard and make a difference. His positive attitude is contagious, and he encourages his classmates to stay optimistic and do more. She had the pleasure of having Andrew as a student for two years, he is Math taught him to love math, so he decided to head to college and pursue a degree in accounting. He'll be attending the University of Illinois at Chicago in the fall. I cannot help but wonder if that path 
will lead him back to supporting his father's work after all his parents and teachers have done to support him. Andrew told me, after every storm comes sunshine. Andrew, I think I speak for everyone in this room tonight when I say we are excited for you wherever your path leads you, and I hope that path is filled with plenty of sunshine. Congratulations. Next, I'm pleased to introduce you to Ms. Alexia Meza. Lexi is newer to Leiden, having joined us for the start of her junior year last year. She was born in San Antonio, Texas, and moved back and forth to a variety of communities in Texas and Illinois as she grew up. Her dad, Eric, is a truck driver who transports steel across the country. During the summers, Lexi would often ride along on trips with her dad, and she's been able to visit about 40 states across the continental US. One of their favorite hobbies on those trips was finding various geocaches and solving the little puzzles associated with them. Throughout Lexi's educational career, she's attended approximately nine different schools, including several in Texas, grades five through eight in Wooddale, Illinois, and her freshman year at Lake Park High School in Roselle. All those travels and changes were shared with her parents, her two older brothers, Darius and Elijah, and her younger sister, Nayeli. When I asked Lexi about her time here at Leiden, she said she was pretty quiet. Knowing that, I spoke with her counselor, Ms. Waddell, and here's what she had to say. Lexi Meza at first appears shy and reserved, but do not mistake her introversion for lack of dedication, determination, or direction, because she will stop at nothing to achieve her goals. Lexi is someone who has faced so many obstacles on her journey towards this very moment, and she's met each one with grace, acceptance, and a willingness to take on new challenges. We typically think of adulthood or adulting as something that happens when we graduate from high school, or maybe a process that takes our entire lives to accomplish, but for Lexi, that challenge became a reality this year when she encountered numerous life-changing moments that forced her to grow up fast. Despite everything she'd been through, she insisted on staying in school and finishing her classes in order to graduate with her class here tonight. Witnessing Lexi's dedication to her family and her future gives me so much hope and excitement for our future as a society. Now, after hearing Ms. Waddell's words, you're probably wondering about those life-changing moments. Please allow me to explain. On Tuesday, February 7th of this year, Lexi's mom, Lisa, was bringing her to school when Lexi began to have a seizure. Her mother took her to Gottlieb Hospital, where she was taken back to be examined. When the medical staff returned, they asked mom how far along Lexi was with her pregnancy. The problem with that question was that Lexi had not yet told her parents that she was pregnant. In the hours that followed, decisions were made to induce a delivery, and Lexi's mom was asked, given the choice, should they prioritize saving the life of her daughter or her grandchild? Although Lexi has no memory of these events, she eventually woke and was introduced to her four-pound, healthy little baby girl, who she named... Yeah. who she named Esmeralda Liliana Meza. Lexi was able to go home a week later when she endured another seizure. She then went to Loyola, where they found several spots on her brain that may be evidence of former seizures or many strokes. I'm happy to report they've been able to treat Lexi and that she's not had any further issues to date. I'm also... I'm also equally happy to report that little Esmeralda is happy and healthy and is now up over 11 pounds. In fact, when I interviewed Lexi, her mother and the baby came along too. I had a little bit of a hard time focusing on the interview because Esmeralda's curious eyes were checking out everything in the office. I asked Lexi what her daughter means to her and she said 
She means everything to me, and she motivates me to finish school. So what's been happening for the past four months um, that have concluded with Lexi getting to walk across the stage tonight? In addition to raising a newborn, Lexi transferred to the West 40 Remote School to wrap up her credits for graduation. She also started working about 25 hours per week at Bath and Body Works. She summed up these last few months in one word, tiring. She wants to give a huge thank you to her mom and dad for their ongoing support and for all their help with childcare. She also wants to thank Mr. Rossetti for always having a great attitude, Ms. Waddell for being energetic and supportive of her, and Ms. Ibrahimi at West 40 for helping make sure she graduated on time. Next year, Lexi will be attending Triton College to study for a career as a nurse or as an ultrasound technician. In either field, she could very well be helping other future mothers. With that in mind, I asked her to reflect on the future she wants for her own daughter. She told me that she simply wants Esmeralda to be happy. I think that's something we all desire and aspire to. So Lexi, thank you for sharing your story with me. I think everyone in this room is much happier uh, to learn about you tonight. I wish you continued success, and please know you're always welcome back at Leiden, uh, as long as you bring Esmeralda back when you visit. Um, and so Lexi, best of luck to you, congratulations. Now in closing, to all of our graduates, each of you is now going to go on forward and carry your name with you. The decisions you make and the life that you lead after Leiden will have a direct impact on you, on your children, on your grandchildren, and generations to come. Protect your name, make decisions, and lead your life in a way that will make your family and your school proud. When you do that, I guarantee you'll find happiness and success. Speaking on behalf of all of us at Leiden, to all of our graduates tonight, it's been an honor to be part of your life. As you move forward today, you have another name that goes with you. You are a Leiden Eagle. Go change the world and take good care of that name as well. We're so proud of all of you today. We wish you nothing but the best in your lives. And remember, no matter where you go and no matter what you do, you will always be a Leiden Eagle. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Poliak. Now presenting our last commencement address are two outstanding students, Rodolfo Torres, followed by Rebecca Reith. Good evening, graduating class of 2023. We started our four years not knowing what to expect and immediately faced unprecedented challenges. Since the start of our freshman year, we faced threats that put our safety in jeopardy and introduced us to a new harsh reality. We are the generation that has been disconnected from the world by the COVID-19 pandemic, which snatched away a year and a half of our lives. For that prolonged period of time, we had to follow the same boring routine of waking up at 8 a.m. to sit in our homes and stare at a screen for eight hours while our teachers desperately tried to grab our attention. This experience of solitude allowed us to discover ourselves and explore the inner workings of our souls. We have now also been permanently defined by the deaths of two of our closest classmates, Daniel Moshi and Ada Malave, who truly were the best that Leiden had to offer. We united as a community to support each other not only did we grieve them, but we celebrated their lives and the impact that they had on us. Our freshman year, we came into this school squeaky clean with new hairdos, clothes, attitudes, ready to start fresh and build a new reputation for ourselves. We stayed in the safe haven of our friend groups and avoided the treacherous point of solitude. From time to time, we allowed ourselves to make new connections with others. As we moved to our sophomore years, it became harder not to compare ourselves who has the best grades, nicest clothes, most amount of friends. We were undeniably defined by a relentless pursuit of fleeting happiness, money, and instant gratification. The more likes and followers we have, the more we feel fulfilled and accepted by the world. To be disliked on social media is to not be liked at all. 
The validation we get from our likes and followers is designed to be a meretricious and shallow masquerade of happiness. This commodification of our own emotions acts as a catalyst both for emptiness and alienation. However, we steered away from it to create a positive legacy for ourselves. Our junior year, we came back from quarantine, acting, engaging, and learning different. But most of all, we came back with our heads held high, knowing that we could thrive in the face of adversity. We were kings. We finally came into our element and left childish behavior behind us. We came back eager to redeem ourselves of that high school experience that we were robbed of. We realized the potential of our voices and demanded change within the school's dress code. We built meaningful relationships with teachers, staff, fellow students that inspired us to be better and to create positive change in our school, both for us and for the people that will follow. 1,372 days ago, we walked into the hollowed halls of Leiden, but we are not the same people walking out. And that is because we have been continually inspired by the legacies that came before us, that pushed us to strive and forge our own paths. Legacies are not determined by tangibles, like money, awards, or grades. Legacies are memories from time spent together. Legacies are the influence over one or many. Legacies are stories passed down from generations. Leaving a legacy means finding your own fulfillment and inspiring others to do great things. One group that has undoubtedly left this exact legacy is our teachers, mentors, and coaches. From the moment that we stepped foot into Leiden, they have pushed us to strive for greatness. I respect you all immensely because you picked something and you picked to help us. It is because of people like you who push us to work even harder because there is no reason not to work hard. It's because of people like you who treat students more than a piece of paper through a scantron. It's because of people like you who look for our beauty, encourage our progress, and who know that it's going to be a fight to leave a lasting legacy but it is a fight worth fighting for. Your impact goes far beyond the classroom, and I speak on behalf of the graduating class when I say thank you. As we reflect on the legacies of those who impacted our lives, it is important to acknowledge the lives of Daniel and Aiden, who embodied the values of hard work, determination, and hope. At face value, they can be seen as polar opposites, with Daniel being involved in the fine arts and Aiden being involved in industrial tech and sports. However, their legacies align with one another. They worked harder than anybody else to achieve their goals. They had a laugh and smile that could light up a room. They were the best friends you could ever ask for. When you mention their names, everyone knows who you're talking about. Not once did they ever refuse to help someone, even if it meant putting their own needs aside. The impact that they had on our community is immense, and for the first time, we all came together and put our differences aside to support each other. For the first time, students and staff joined hands, and we saw excruciating amounts of support and love from every corner of our community. Many of our life-defining moments include Daniel and Aiden as they pushed us into developing new passions. If it weren't for Daniel, I would have never stepped foot in the theater and found my passion and calling for the fine arts and be where I am today. Even now, I know that he's standing in the stage next to me. Their legacies are that of unity and inspiration. They serve as a reminder that we too can make a difference in the world and that our actions will impact future generations. Each and every one of us, like Daniel and Aiden, has the ability to create and leave a lasting legacy that will inspire others. Let us follow their examples and create a world far better than the one that we inherited. When I look out, I see a room full of uniquely talented and distinct individuals eager to make their mark on the world. We owe it to ourselves, to our families, to our teachers, to Daniel and Aiden, to create this lasting legacy. Their legacy that they built and left behind at Leiden is what will immortalize them, and the legacy that we start to build for ourselves is what will immortalize us. Thank you. Graduation is the doorway to our future, the stepping stone to the rest of our lives, the stairway for what's to come. 
This is the cliche that you will hear all throughout the evening. The overuse expression that lacks in entirety the significance of this special ceremony. This is not a doorway. This is not leading you to the rest of your life. This is your life right here, right now. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow will come, but we are here now. Every single person in this theater is falling victim to the chaos of emotion. Feelings of apprehension and impatience, regret and nostalgia, excitement and wistfulness. Parents are sitting here reminiscing the milestones of their children. Remember when he first learned to ride a bike? Remember when we dropped her off at kindergarten? Graduates are sitting here fantasizing about the futures that lie in front of them, going off to college, joining the military, heading to the workforce, starting a family. This hectic day is so occupying that we forget to soak in this moment, diluting the celebration in itself. Every single choice, every single interaction, every single conversation that we've had in the duration of these last four years is running through our minds like a time lapse. Flashes of trivial moments replaying in our heads. Sitting here, taking this trip down memory lane allows us to ponder the hypotheticals and realize how our high school careers have really shaped our lives. What if I never sat in this seat? What if I never made that friend? What if I never went to school that day? What if the pandemic never happened? What if this person was still sitting here with me today? What if, what if, what if? What if we are so consumed with what has happened and with what will happen that we miss what is happening right now. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow will come, but we are here now. When we begin to realize the shortness of life, we start to understand the importance of making each moment count. Yes, today is incredibly important and so special because we're sitting here in our caps and our gowns. But so is tomorrow. Tomorrow is incredibly important and so special because tomorrow you will wake up and tomorrow you will say good morning to your mother or your father or your loved one. And the next day is incredibly important because the next day you'll go and visit your friends. And the day after that is incredibly important because the day after that you'll sit down and you'll share a meal with the people that you love. Every day that we live is so important because we are living it, we are experiencing it. All of these little moments are our lives, boring or not. The unique era that we've endured throughout the pandemic superficially blurred the lines of time together, the days melting into one another, numbing us to the importance of living in the moment. This is your wake up call. Pay attention. Life is happening around you right now. This moment is so fleeting and so emotional that we are so easily distracted by the power of our feelings. I didn't tell my mother that I was gonna stand up here today and give this speech for that very reason. I wanted her to be able to live in this moment with me, to hear these words for the first time, to focus on this as it happens because this will not happen again. Because yesterday is gone and tomorrow will come, but we are here now. We only get to walk this stage one time. We only get to turn this tassel one 
time. We only get to toss this cap one time. Look to your left and look to your right and breathe in all the feelings of right now because in 20 minutes, you will be lined up, standing with your classmates, anxiously awaiting a handshake and a diploma at the bottom of these stairs. And in 21 minutes, you will have graduated. Thank you. Thank you so much. Leiden Chamber Singers will now perform this day under the direction of Miss Casey Cunningham. Thank you. Mr. Agnafo, it is with pleasure that I assure you that the members of the class of 2023 seated before us have met the requirements as established by the Board of Education and are eligible to receive their diplomas. And now for the acceptance of the class by the President of the Board of Education, Mr. Gregory Agnafo.
Thank you. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be here tonight. This is an exciting time as we celebrate another milestone in the lives of Leiden's newest alumni. They are our Leiden pride. Congratulations, class of 2023. And before I go any further, a very special thank you to Rosemont Mayor Bradley Stevens, also a Leiden alum. Thank you for providing us with this outstanding theater in which to showcase these fine young men and women. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Graduates seated behind you are your family, friends, teachers, and other members of the Leiden family. They are here in support of you to recognize your accomplishments on this special day and celebrate their pride in you. Your relationships with each other, whether your parent, guardian, sibling, friend, teacher, or an acquaintance, are meaningful and necessary for your success and happiness. Collectively, they are your sphere of influence, an integral part of who you are. They are in your lives as you are in theirs. So today we not only celebrate your achievement, we celebrate each other and our relationships. In 1990, Barbara Bush gave a commencement address at Wesley College. In her remarks, she told graduates to cherish your human connections. At the end of your life, you will never regret not having passed one more test, winning one more verdict, or not closing one more deal. You will regret time not spent with a husband, a child, a friend, or a parent. So graduates, if you were to turn around, you would see that those behind you are beaming with pride. Pride in you because they know you. They cherish you. You have built those relationships with each other. You support each other, and in one way or another, together, you have struggled and have overcome challenges to get here today. They are committed to supporting you as you move forward to the next chapters in your life. And as you know, you did not get here alone. There are so many to acknowledge who have had a hand in forming your character. Some have been alongside you since birth, some that you have come to know at Leiden, and some you have never met. But each has played a central role in your lives. Leiden encourages our students to dream the dream and provides them with the tools and opportunity to live the dream but there are only a few that have stood up and defended the dream. With all those here who have worn our country's uniform, please stand that we may have the opportunity to thank you for your service. Army, Marines, Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, Space Force, all our veterans, for our veterans. Thank you, you make all this possible. And please remember that Monday, May 29th is Memorial Day, a day to remember those who have given their lives in defense of freedom, including several of our own Leiden alumni. And also a special thank you to the Leiden community's first responders. They are on the front lines every single day to protect us and keeping us safe. Would all of our first responders, police, fire, EMS, no matter what community you serve, please stand and acknowledge yourself. Our first responders. And especially police officer John Pasoli. Thank you. Next, I'll invite Marisol, would you come up and join me?
because Marisol kind of knew I was going to do this. Thank you. Uh, last August, Marisol and Olivia Lawrence from East were sworn in as Leiden student board members. Who's here? Come over here. <laughs> She's not shy. I'll repeat. Last August, Marisol and Olivia Lawrence from East were sworn in as Leiden student board members. Through their participation at school events, attendance at board meetings, and in many other commitments, Marisol and Olivia have brought your voice to the highest level of decision making. When the Board of Education needs to make a decision about what's best for the kids, we turn to Marisol and Olivia for their input. And they have represented you very well. Marisol, thank you for your commitment to Leiden, the long hours, your valuable insight and collaboration. We will miss you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you can sit down. Graduates, the rest of the people that I will acknowledge have one single common purpose, and that is to provide you with the best possible high school education with an abundance of quality experiences for you to grow physically, academically, and emotionally. Remember, if it wasn't for you, the student, Leiden High School simply wouldn't exist. We believe that Leiden High School provides the best possible education for our students with a wide variety of opportunities and that each individual student has unique talents and those unique talents need to be identified, nurtured, and honed. Although they are small in numbers, their impact is immense. Leiden High School enjoys the best team of administrators in any school district anywhere. Administrators, thank you for your vision, passion, and your consistent vigil over our most precious asset, our kids. Thank you, administrators. <laughs> and a special thank you to Patrick Hatfield. Patrick is Leiden's chief school business official Chief Financial Officer, Chief Investment Officer, and Treasurer. The only person at Leiden had, that has a longer title is his assistant. <laughs> Patrick is leaving Leiden at the end of the fiscal year to take on the challenges of retirement. With Patrick's leadership, he and his staff have done a remarkable job in caring for the taxpayers' money, modernizing fiscal services, and managing the district's investments, which have outperformed long-term benchmarks in every category. To quote Patrick, a man of abundance of numbers, charts, and multicolored graphs, but a few words, it's been a hoot. Thank you, Patrick. Now, I've been out of high school for, let's say, a lot of years, but I can still remember many of my high school teachers. I can remember them because they had such an impact on my life. It was not until I got a bit older that I was able to truly see that my teachers, like yours, made a commitment to provide me with the very best educational opportunities. I remember feeling their frustration when I didn't perform as I should have, their encouragement, guidance, and patience as they worked with me to achieve my goals, and their pride when I succeeded. I remember them like you will remember your teachers because they made a commitment to not just the student, but to you on a personal level. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the West Leiden faculty. Would the faculty please stand? West Leiden faculty. Thank you, phenomenal job. There are many other members of the Leiden family who work tireless, tirelessly for the success of Leiden students. These past three years have been anything but normal, whatever normal is. No matter the call, 
Leiden support staff were there collectively and collaboratively assisting the entire Leiden community. From an abundance of food preparation and delivery to building maintenance, security, transportation, technology, to organizing the buildings for vaccinations and everything in between, while many were working remotely, they were there every day making things happen. Remarkable simply doesn't cover their efforts. They've had a big impact on bringing these fine young men and women here tonight. Thank you, support staff. <laughs> Leiden certainly wouldn't be Leiden if it wasn't for all of the volunteers, those loyal eagles who consistently give their time, talents, and resources so young men and women like these graduates can have extra opportunities. Thank you to all of our volunteers. And last, but certainly not least, a very special thank you to your neighbors, the taxpayers. We are very grateful that the Leiden community continues to support the innovative programs for the betterment of our students. Thank you, taxpayers. In closing, I'll quote a very dear friend of mine, Lucia Ramirez. Lucy graduated from East in 2012. She has been suffering from a debilitating medical condition since middle school. She knows, like Barbara Bush said, what is really important in life, to cherish the human connection. Lucy says, graduates, don't forget where you come from, life is too short. We become so eager to fly and conquer the world that we forget about our parents and siblings. Keep that strong connection, you'll thank me later. They were there for your first steps and they are there now to help you succeed. They will be with you every moment in life, take advantage of it and enjoy because in a blink of an eye, you will be grandparents. Life flies, keep transforming the world. You are all our future generation. Well said, Lucy. <laughs> to the families of these new Leiden alumni, thank you for allowing us to be part of their lives. We share with you the commitment to excellence for their success, and I hope that we have met and exceeded your expectations. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Centeno, Dr. Poliak, on behalf of the Board of Education, it is with an abundance of Leiden pride that I accept these fine young men and women as Leiden High School's newest alumni, the West Leiden class of 2023. They bring honor to themselves, their families, and the entire Leiden community. Thank you. Before we proceed, we'd like to ask our student board member to come up and present the request of the class of 2023, Maricel Garcia. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. My classmates join me in thanking all of our families, friends, and teachers who are present to honor us tonight. Because this is such a special occasion for each and every one of us, we would like to make this special request. As the names of the graduates are announced, please hold your applause so that all of the names can be heard in an equal and fair manner. With your help, we look forward to making this a most meaningful and respectful ceremony. Thank you. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación de la clase 2023. Mis compañeros se unen conmigo 
para agradecer la presencia de nuestras familias, amigos y maestros que han venido para honrarnos esta noche. Por ser una ocasión tan especial para cada uno de nosotros, queremos hacerles una petición muy importante. Favor de no aplaudir mientras anuncio los nombres de los graduados. De esta forma, todos los nombres podrán ser escuchados de igual manera. Con su ayuda, lograremos que esta ceremonia sea muy significativa y respetable para todos. Gracias. Sponsors and class prepare for graduation. Presenting diplomas this evening, we have two of our Board of Education members, Mr. Cesar Garcia and Mr. Joseph Trino. Our readers are Mr. Richard Drabney and Ms. Martha Martinez. Assisting tonight with the graduation ceremony are four students from the class of 2024. Sophia Barbararian, Leah, Liam Fazi, Emily Ludvigson, and Gabby Kajawa. Pedro Antonio Acevedo Mesta. Diego Aceves. Noah Josías Agrón. Agustín Aguilar Forth. Daisy Aguilar. Janelle Aguilar. Carlos Aguilera Jr. Omar Ángel Aguirre. Alejandra La Torre. Kevin A. La Torre. Mayalí Salicea. Jennifer Almendares. Enrique Altamirano Jr. Gabriela Thaís Alvarado. Ninel Guadalupe Álvarez. Valerie Alvarez. Graciela Amigón. William Arthur Anderson. Emily Avalos. Yasmin Avila. Eric Jason Aviles. Alondra Nereida Aviña. Lisette Avitia Nevarez. Yasmin Ayala. Rodolfo Bajena Salgado. Ryan Keith Baker. Michelle Banderas. Ángel Barajas. Oswaldo Barajas. Joseph Andrew Bass. Antonio Benitez III. Emily Blanco. 
Juan Pablo Blas. Héctor Briseño. Ángel Thomas Brown. Nathan Bucio. Serenity Anaya Buck. Iván René Carmona. Aiden Cabrera Pinto. Leslie Guadalupe Caldera. Nathan Campos Pimentel. Sienna Rose Cano. Jason Steven Cardoso. Alberto Bustamante. Nitzeli Carrasco. Madeline Carreño. Tiana Carrera. Eduardo Carrera. José Antonio Casas Favela. María José Casas Favela. Amaya Melissa Casiano. Nisa Denise Casiano. Eric Fabian Castañeda. Melissa Castillo. Chanel Adalí Chavez. Dominique Alia Cohen. Tatiana Colón. Gabriel Contreras. Hugo Cesar Contreras. John Contreras. Alec Bernardo Corona. Miguel Ángel Corona. Ethan Corral. Victoria Coronel. Yuridia Guadalupe Cortés. Alondra Cortés. Bella Marie Covarrubias. Eva Yvette Covarrubias. Leslie Covarrubias. Julián Edgar Covarrubias. Fátima Ariana de León. Samantha Joy Daberts. Emmanuel Deacon. Matthew Monique de León. Lisette Marín Delgado. Jorge E. Del Río. Nicole de Santiago. Saúl Delgado Hernández. Emmanuel Díaz. Michael Anthony DeSantis Jr. Juliana Díaz. Joel Díaz. Ana Lucía Díaz Tejeda. Abel Díaz Jr. Rhiannon Faye Dithnall. George Daniel Diaz Camboa. Ellie Marie Esbornson. Cesar Duran Carrasco. Alondra Escarpita. Hannah Sophia Honish. Diana Ferrer. Ángel Julián Segura. Kelani Eneri Figueroa. Areli Villagran. Madeline Ashley Finnegan. Roque Barla Fabular Jr. Christopher Andrew Flores. Emma Jean Rivera. Gilberto Flores. Alejandro Gallegos. Jonathan Flores. Alfredo Julián Garay. Carmela Franco García. Arles García. Juan Diego Josué Fuentes. Soledad García. Armani J. Janel. Alexandra García Corona. Jade García Reyes. 
Mariah Star Gauna. Victor Adrian Garcia. Anthony Juan Gomez. Toby Garcia. Eric Gonzalez. Marisol Guadalupe Garcia. Valeria Gonzalez. Aisha Garcia. Liana Jolie Guerrero. Leonel Galván. Alexa Guillén. Kevin Fuentes. Jelani Francisca Gutierrez. Monica Isabel Guzmán. Anthony Guzmán. Esmeralda Andrea Guzmán. Gilberto Guzmán Jr. Alexis Guzmán. Jacqueline Ángela Hernández. Damien Javier Gutiérrez. Natalie Itzel Hernández. Daniel Guevara. Ashley Herrera. Fátima Guerrero. Jonathan Herrera. Danny Jacob Grimes. Arnoldo Huerta. Jonathan Gonzalez Jr. Yasmin Hurtado Duarte. Daniel Gonzalez. Sandra Mia Jaques. Aliana Blanca Corber. Sitlali Jimenez Crespo. Frederick Leon Jones. Cristian Juarez. Areli Jimenez. Julia Ruth Coit. Selena Marie Janatias. David Lagunas. Sheila Marisa Huitrado. Yvette Leon. Nathaniel Caleb Herrera. Victoria Marie Leson. Jennifer Herrera. Dianic Lopez. Evelyn Hernandez Rodriguez. Joseph Raul Lopez Chique. Kevin Hernandez. Emily Tui Lynn Lu. Emily Paola Hernandez. Cesar Daniel Macias. Anthony Emanuel Martinez. Regina Magaña. Ellen Gabriel Martinez. Alexis Martinez. Nathaniel Margie. Andrew Martinez. Amy Alexia Macias Perez. Ashley Rosalia Martinez. Daniela Julissa Macedo. Jose Manuel Martinez. Lisette Lozano. Leah Grace Martinez. Javier Lopez. Victor Daniel Martinez. Cristian Andres Lopez. Ellen Martinez Garcia. Nathan John Larson. Elena May Masari. Jacob Michael Kudba. Joel Mata. Andrea Yuritza Mejia. Noemi Mata Reyes. David Medrano. Michael Marion Matashevsky. Luisa Maria. Mazarriegos Ramos. Samuel Medina Martinez. Jose Agustín Matías. Joel Medrano. Magda Areli Mata Marín. Adri Adrián Méndez. Ariana Mata. Diego Mendoza. 
Valeria Martinez Tapia. Adriana Mercado. Alejandra Martinez Salgado. Natalia Sarah Mitka. Megan Vanessa Martinez. Lisette Montebello. Juan Carlos Martinez. Alexander Monte Montenegro. Benjamin Alejandro Martinez. Matthew Ernesto Montiel. Alexander Nájera. Erica Dainara Monares. Matthew Rolando Morillo. Isali Marie Morris. Julie Aslin Muñoz. Jaden Alfonso Muñoz. Jasmine Lilian Muñiz. Moises Muñoz. Rene Mario Moreno. Nicholas James Nacarado. Eduardo Rubén Morales. Julie Isabel Nambo. Leslie Montes. Ángel Ocampo. Jose Cruz Montelongo Hernández. Jessica Ojeda. Brianna Ashanti Montalvo. Israel Giovann Olmeda Bellón. Alexia Lisset Mesa. Daisy Ordaz. Vanessa Mendiola Mandujano. Valerie Annie Orloff. Carlos Francisco Palma. Adrián Ortega. Stephanie Inés Padilla Mora. Cristal Ortega. Marisol Ortiz. Catherine Ortiz. Oscar Ortega Jr. Alex Oviedo. Brian Rubén Ortega. Rochelle Palacios. Jessica Orozco. Joseph Alexander Palomo. Sophia Ann Orloff. Krish Amrud Bath Patel. Melissa Ordaz. Frida Scarlett Patino Garcia. Andres Olagüe Acevedo Jr. Natalie Payan. Oscar Ochoa. Eric Pooley. Aliza Navarro. Virginia Perez. Lily Marilyn Pauker. Brianna Marie Pimentel. Amy Isabel Perez. Carlos Pompa. Luis Daniel Perez. Nicholas Jason Pounders. Zulma Itzel Pineda. Cristian Naelson Prado. Jake James Pounders. Joanna Saraí Perez. Michael Kenneth Povinsky. Sergio Raigosa. Oliver Sylvester Cruz. Jennifer Ramos. Luis Enrique Quiñones. Jairo Reina Perez. Eri Daniel Ramos. Alondra Rodríguez. Fernando Ismael Rebolledo. Griselda Reyes Perez. Lenaya Roslani Respeto. Nisi Jaira Rios. Steven Alexander Reyes. Cynthia Rivera. Azul Rios. Yolisa Idaliz Rivera. Priam Alberto Rivera. Víctor Manuel Rivera. 
Julian Isaac Rivera. Rebecca Ashley Reef. Angeli Rodea. Ángel Eduardo Rodríguez. Andrea Crisel Rodríguez. Daniel Rodríguez. Bianca Susana Rodríguez. Miguel Rodríguez. Samantha Rodríguez. Yaritza Rodríguez. Jasmine Romero. Ángel Javier Román. Saida Karime Rosales. Yamilet Romero. Damien Stone Rosco. Fernando Rosas de Lara. Beatriz Alfonsina Ruiz Gómez. Julian Isaiah Rubio. Leonardo Andrés Salcedo. Damien Salazar. Denise Salgado. Cristian Isaí Salgado. William Salgado. José Salgado. Brandon Wilfredo Salguero. Berenice Salgado Hernández. John Peter Samansky. Anthony Oscar Salmeron. Leslie Sanchez. Alejandro Sanchez. Yadira Sandoval. Marco Adrián Sanchez. Abriana Damaris Santiago. Pedro Luis Santa María. Caremo Karina Saucedo Meraz. Jacob William Sarnecki. Joseph Sander Seymour. Janet Serrano. Alexander Soria. Paloma Solorzano Romero. Erika Soto. Anthony Soto. Monica Tamayo. Jennifer Suarez Corona. Isaiah Tolentino. Kimberly R. Tejada Zapata. Ruby Torres. Rodolfo Torres. Xiomara Tobar. Jalisa Genevieve Torres. Andy Trujillo. Samira Violeta Trejo. Brianna Amanda Bacaro. Michelle Trujillo. Anet Michelle Banegas. Jacqueline Valdez Vázquez. Jonathan Vargas Villalobos. Alexander Banegas Nonato. Kenneth Vázquez. Jonathan Vargas Lara. Amelie Vela. Diego Dragan Vega. Nicolás Juan Velázquez. Juan Valentín Velázquez. Tayanara Vera. Brian Javier Vélez. Clarisa Jané Villalobos. Lisette Villafán. Yanis Villarreal. Kayla Shiri Villanos. Alan Virgen Garcia. Katia Villegas Gamboa. Gloria Denise Walker. Damian Isaiah Bow. Nelly Nesati. Amelia Werenzowska. Joseph Moses Zuniga.
Julian Erom Zaragoza. Miroslava Basilisa Cetina Diego. Alexander Clemente Mayari. We thank all who took part in the ceremony this evening, our Board of Education, our Superintendent, our Administration, our students, faculty, and staff, and our families. A special thank you to the music department for the beautiful music provided. As we start the recessional, we ask that the audience remain seated until the graduates have exited. You can meet, then meet them in the lobby. And now, I will, and now will the class of 2023 please stand, turn and face the audience, move your tassel from right to left. You are now alumni of Westline High School. Congratulations. <laughs> 